Key infrastructure projects in Bangalore are on the back burner for decades and one such project is the peripheral ring road. The 65km stretch hasn't moved beyond papers and issues such as land acquisition remain one of the major hurdles. The government, however, may have finally found a solution. Stacey Pereira brings us this story. Years have gone by but the peripheral ring road project in Bangalore hasn't moved beyond the BDA's drawing board. Phase 1 of the project, which is supposed to connect Hosu Road in the southeast to Tumkur Road in the north, hasn't seen any action on ground, besides futile negotiations between the state authorities and the land-losing farmers. Struggling for funds, the BDA seems to have put forth a new proposal. This could turn out to be a win-win situation for all. We want to interact with each land-loser individually. So we propose to write to each one of them, tell them what is on offer and then they decide whether they agree with our offer or not. So with that we should be able to tackle the issue of land acquisition and if Government of India also bears part of the cost, then this big obstacle uh, can easily be overcome. The peripheral ring road was planned with an aim to ease the pressure on the existing outer ring road on the growing IT suburbs of southeast Bangalore. The proposed eight-lane toll road will connect major highways like Sarjapur Road, Old Madras Road and Bellari Road, cutting across many agricultural lands. The original 100-metre road was reduced to 75 metres, developing the remaining 25 metres as two-thirds of the compensation package. The government has also proposed to double the FAR along the stretch and permit commercial activity 100 metres beyond this. They hope that this move will attract developers and businesses. Definitely the uh, FAR is going to be incentive. Utilizing them on those properties are very essential. It is a good incentive, but let them come out. When they do a PRR or any ring road connection, it kickstarts the economic growth. The government is the beneficiary ultimately because they can give the service at different levels. There is no doubt that Bangalore needs the PRR. But what real estate experts do believe is that the government must walk a tightrope in ensuring that farmers are not exploited. At the same time, they must also attract investments by ensuring a smart master plan for areas along the corridor. PRR needs to be looked at differently. It's not about just you know the availability of land, the cash that's required for land acquisition, but also a master plan that needs to be created uh, so that what can come up, the zoning needs to be run right, the social infrastructure needs to be done right, so that that itself becomes a big micro market for Bangalore. Hopes for the PRR have revived ever since the state gave its in-principle approval for the project back in July. Finding a viable way to fund the project and giving the farmers their due compensation is a tough task ahead for the BDA. As for Bengalurians, the cry for PRR Beku is only going to get louder. In Bangalore with camera person Nazir and Kumar, Stacey Pereira for NDTV.